Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content that we're throwing up. And uh, make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And yeah, let's begin. What's going on guys, this is Rob, and in today's Beyond Omega level video, we are focusing on a character that has gone through a number of changes to both her origin and power level, but one that when operating at her highest level is an incredibly powerful character. In this video, we're talking about Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. So before we discuss her powers and feats, we'll go over her origin, which is pretty convoluted as it's been retconned on multiple occasions. But probably the only aspect of Scarlet Witch's origin that's remained consistent is that she was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. No, I'm just messing around. She was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and first appeared in X-Men number four in 1964 as a member of Magneto's Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. She'd later leave the group before eventually joining the Avengers. Now what's changed more than once is her parentage. And what I mean is that in the early 1970s, it was discovered that Wanda was the daughter of two Golden Age Marvel superheroes known as the Wizard and Miss America. However, this was changed in the 1980s when it was revealed that Wanda and her twin brother Petro, better known as Quicksilver, were actually the children of Magneto and his former wife Magda. Now the story as it went then was that after Magneto and Magda's daughter dies in a house fire and Magneto sees his powers manifest for the first time, Magda leaves Magneto and flees to Mount Wondergore. There she meets Bova who was a cow that was genetically modified into a cow-human hybrid by the High Evolutionary and it turns out that Magda's pregnant with twins. And so after delivering the twins, Magda flees Mount Wondergore to avoid Magneto finding her but dies of exposure. And so as fate would have it, Wizard and Miss America were also at Mount Wondergore to deliver their baby. But unfortunately, the child is ultimately stillborn and Miss America dies during childbirth. And so Bova tells Wizard that his wife had died, but had successfully delivered twins, which is kind of a dick move when you think about it, but he wants nothing to do with the children. And so Wanda and Pietro are then taken in by a Romani couple named Django and Maria Maximoff, but Maria is eventually killed by an angry mob and Wanda and Pietro escape and basically raise themselves as they travel throughout Europe. But this was changed again in 2014's Axis event by Rick Remender. In that event, lots of heroes are telepathically inverted into villains and vice versa. And so when Wanda's inverted, she becomes evil and casts a spell that targets everyone that shares a bloodline with her. But only Quicksilver is affected, meaning that while Wanda and Pietro are siblings, Magneto was not their father. And so what we learn a bit later is that Django and Maria are actually the biological parents of Wanda and Pietro. And they were taken by the High Evolutionary who altered their DNA and gave them back to their parents disguised as mutants. And really the whole reason for this change in their origins lie in the movie rights to two characters as at the time, Disney had not yet acquired Fox, and Fox owned the movie rights to the X-Men and all the mutant characters. Disney, though, did want to use the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron, and so to be able to do that, they changed their origin so that they were no longer mutants. And while this change was almost universally hated by fans, it remains the status quo as it relates to the origin of Scarlet Witch, although now that Disney owns Fox, who knows what we'll see in the future. But anyway, with all that overly convoluted origin out of the way, we get into Scarlet Witch's powers, which believe it or not, have also been changed multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> During her earliest appearances, Scarlet Witch was said to have quote unquote hex powers, but what she could really do was not very well defined. And so basically she was able to alter probabilities so that unlikely or impossible events had a greater likelihood of occurring. Now this power manifested in a variety of ways from things as simple as making a gun or making all the support structures of a building give way to more impressive feats, such as altering the radioactive molecules within radioactive man so they no longer emit energy. Now later when Steve Englehart was writing the event, Scarlet Witch began studying under Agatha Harkness, who trained Wanda in the use of witchcraft. And during the 1994 Scarlet Witch miniseries by Dan Abnett and Andy Landing, Agatha discovers that Wanda was a Nexus being, which means that she serves as a hub of all magical energy in the universe. Now, once Kurt Busiek took over as writer of the Avengers in the 1990s, he introduced the idea that Wanda was actually given the ability to wield chaos magic by an elder god known as Cthone. So what all this means is that Scarlet Witch is a very powerful wielder of mystical energy. And and she's used her powers as a sorceress to pull off some pretty impressive feats, going so far as to be able to manipulate reality itself. For instance, when Scarlet Witch wanted to have children but couldn't because she was married to Vision and all, she simply used her mystical abilities to make herself pregnant and give birth to sons. Now, in addition to creating life, Wanda can also resurrect the dead, as she did in the 
did with another of her former love interests, a guy by the name of Wonder Man. But the most impressive display of Scarlet Witch's powers came at a time where she had undone yet another change during Brian Michael Bendis' Avengers Disassembled series that Scarlet Witch's powers were not rooted in chaos magic at all, but instead in reality warping. And it was shortly after this that we see Scarlet Witch's powers go absolutely crazy. But before we get into that, we have to highlight a couple of things from Wanda's history. First, if you recall the children that I mentioned Wanda creating, what happened to them is an important factor in Wanda becoming as powerful as she did during this era. And so as it turns out, the children Wanda created were actually pieces of the soul of a demonic entity named Master Pandemonium. And when he absorbed the pieces of his soul back, Wanda was left childless. But her mentor, Agatha Harkness, removed her memories of the children to spare her the mental anguish that comes from losing children. The other thing that we have to remember is that Scarlet Witch has never been a character that would be described as stable. And her inability to control her powers is actually what led to Agamotto to remove her from consideration of becoming Earth Sorcerer Supreme at one point. And so with those things in mind, what happened during Avengers Disassembled is that Wanda realizes that the memories of having children were missing and kills Agatha Harkness for deceiving her and then goes on to Doctor Doom for help in returning them to her life. And so to do this, Doctor Doom and Wanda use their combined mystical forces to access the life force energy, but the life force ends up possessing Wanda and driving her insane. And so under the control of this life force, Wanda turns on the Avengers and blows up the Avengers mansion using the reanimated corpse of Jack of Hearts, which kills Scott Lang, although he would later be returned. She then summons a Kree warship, which attacks the Avengers, killing Hawkeye. Now, when the Avengers are trying to find out who's responsible for the attack, that's when Doctor Strange shows up and informs them that there is no such thing as chaos magic, and that Scarlet Witch's powers actually allow her to manipulate reality. But basically, like everything that we've been talking about here, this has also been changed so that chaos magic actually does exist. But because of this attack, both the Avengers and the X-Men start considering the idea of killing Scarlet Witch due to how powerful and unstable she is, and the danger she poses to reality after Professor X tells them that his telepathic abilities are not strong enough to suppress her reality warping powers. And so to prevent this, Quicksilver urges Scarlet Witch to alter reality. And so she takes the mind of Charles Xavier, reads the subconscious desires of everybody in the world, and then creates a new world known as the House of M, where mutants dominate humans, Magneto's in charge of everything, and everyone subconsciously got what they desired. And so the fact that Scarlet Witch is able to literally rewrite reality and convince even powerful characters like Doctor Strange that it's absolutely real shows us that her reality warping powers were incredibly advanced. But what made this even more clear was when the House of M reality ceases to exist and that Magneto kills Quicksilver after discovering that he's behind his sister's manipulation of reality. And so after returning Quicksilver to life, Wanda utters the words, no more mutants, which causes 98% of the world's mutant population to lose their powers. And while Scarlet Witch's most impressive feats do occur when her power level is being amped by the life force energy, it does need to be pointed out that her underlying status as a nexus being was the entire reason for Wanda she was able to channel that much power in the first place. Now, even after she was purged of the life force energy, we see Wanda perform some impressive feats during the Avengers vs. X-Men event, such as defeating Namor and Magic, each of which were imbued with one-fifth of the Phoenix Force. She was also able, along with Hope, to defeat Cyclops after he had transformed into the Dark Phoenix and to purge Earth of the Phoenix Force entity. Now, once the Phoenix was banished, the lights on Cerebra began indicating mutant life popping up once again, meaning that it's detecting the presence of new mutants, thereby reversing the effect of M-Day when she depowered most of the mutant population. But yeah, one of the other cool things that came out of this was that after the Scarlet Witch had taken the mutant population's powers, we actually found out that she had done this not just in her universe, but across the multiverse in its entirety, which is one of the, the fan theories, at least a fan theory that I've had for a long time, that the reason why there were no more mutants born during the Old Man Logan series is because of the Scarlet Witch. But with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. If you are new here to Comments Explained, make sure you guys hit the sub button to become part of the Rob Corps. If you guys enjoyed this this video make sure you drop a like and yeah i will catch you all later peace